Hi there. So I'm Khaled Ahmed. I work in the uh, systems group within IBM. And what I want to share with you today is just a quick overview of some of the work we're doing uh, with Mesos and uh, bringing some capabilities that we have in uh, a technology called Ego or Enterprise Grid Orchestrator um, to the uh, Mesos uh, community. And just to give a little bit of background, uh, IBM acquired a company called Platform Computing uh, that was the developer of this Ego technology. We developed it about 10 years ago, actually, in 2004. And uh, the intention was very similar to what uh, uh, Mesos does. It is a, a uh, resource management layer that allows multiple frameworks to share resources in a common resource pool. And the use cases that we see from enterprise commercial customers that have deployed this in uh, large uh, scale grids in financial services and in manufacturing and in insurance and so on is about running these frameworks that we provide uh, today uh, for batch processing, for um, MapReduce, for parallel services in a shared grid environment. And the experiences that we've had uh, required us to develop certain features in, uh, in Ego that we think would be useful in the Mesos context. And we think Mesos is a very good open technology, and that's why we're looking at embracing this and integrating our capabilities within the Mesos framework. It is very open in the sense that we're able to use the allocator module, the new modules that, that have uh, uh, been implemented in the 2.3 release, and uh, basically use that to add a, a certain uh, set of policies that uh, we think are value adds. So one thing is the uh, centralized configuration of all the roles and all the uh, weights as well as the reservations within uh, Mesos so you don't have to go and do it on all the slaves. So our plugin allows through a GUI to be able to set all those policies from one central console rather than having to uh, do that and change that dynamically. Okay, um, sorry. <laughs> And also, uh, it provides additional capabilities. One of the things that we saw from enterprise customers that are looking to deploy multiple applications or multiple frameworks uh, from different lines of business, different departments within those lines of business and, and uh, uh, projects and so on, is the ability to um, uh, identify a hierarchical set of roles uh, that they need, right? So they use this for purposes of capacity planning as well as chargeback. Uh, so we br bring that capability into uh, Mesos. So not only do you have a flat set of roles, but a, a hierarchy of, of those roles. Uh, we provide other capability, capabilities like time-based policies so that you know when you have predicted demand that you can shift the, the configuration of the ownership and the sharing policies and the, the weights and so on in a dynamic manner based on time. Um, in addition, because we're you know, focused on the enterprise use cases, we provide an end-to-end -end solution. So in addition to that, uh, those policy uh, types of capabilities, we provide the uh, monitoring, management, chargeback functionality around that. So we think by plugging into Mesos, we give two things. One is to our customers that, that have deployed um, our technology, the ability to uh, open it up with Mesos and the frameworks that Mesos brings. We see customers wanting to adopt new frameworks that uh, are enabled by Mesos, and this gives us a good path. And then alternatively for the uh, existing Mesos environments, we think what we're doing is um, starting to implement and working with the Mesos community to bring some of these capabilities into Mesos in a more native manner, right? So. Uh, uh, hopefully in future talks, uh, you'll see people from IBM uh, talking about some of the use cases of deploying Mesos within IBM, uh, within our, our cloud. Uh, we have use cases in the container service uh, that we have. We have use cases in Spark workloads. We have use cases with uh, Watson and analytics and all those kinds of workloads. And also uh, our customer use cases. And uh, hopefully you, you'll see more activity uh, from IBM within the Mesos community, and we'll, we'll uh, look forward to uh, meeting with you again in the future. Thank you.